Why are infinity edge pools so expensive? Well, the, I think the main reason is when you're looking at a pool, first of all, they're expensive already, but you know, then we start talking about options. You know, what kind of bolt-on items do you want to add to this pool? Do you want to put a slide? Do you want to put a diving board? Do you want to put like an advanced AOP hydroxyl generator? Like what's, what's important to you? What's a priority for you for this pool? And then we'll find ways for you to spend gobs of money upgrading this swimming pool. When it comes to infinity pools, you don't bolt one on to the existing pool. It's not like a salt chlorine generator or one of these other things. And an infinity pool is like, oh, you want uh, like an infinity edge pool, okay. And then I just like karate chop, clear all those blueprints off the table that we're working with and be like, okay, let's, let's start over here and uh, let's get some engineers involved. And you're gonna have multiple bodies of water uh, basins, below ground surge tanks, overflow basins, certain design aspects, flow elements are going to be so important for an edge effect like this. You're going to have two or three pumps. Um, you know, one room is going to be located here, one's going to be over there. We're going to have like really long pipe runs that have to root above the water level in the swimming pool, even though the equipment's all below the level of the swimming pool. We also have to like run them over and back and you know, it's not an upgrade thing. It's like from the ground up, you know, it, this is like we're buying a new Honda Civic and we're just kind of choosing the trim options that you want. Like, did you want the furry dice hanging from the mirror? Do you want the floor mats? And you're like, you know what I was thinking though, is what about like, you know, a Ferrari Enzo? What about that? And the salesman just shrugs at you and they're like, okay, like just, get this on good junk out of here and let's start talking about this Ferrari, you know, and that's kind of what an infinity or an edge or vanishing edge pool are, or is it's a really, really big luxury. It's a huge cost upgrade to build it and a complexity upgrade as well. Um, it costs a lot more in terms of like your running costs for a pool like that versus like, you know, regular backyard swimming pool, even like a really big one. These aren't even comparable things. Uh, an edge pool is like one order of magnitude more expensive to care for than pretty much every other pool type. And so that's why they're so expensive to buy is because there's just a lot going on below the surface that allows you to have kind of this visual effect. And some people love it and they, they can't wait to get those. In general, I tend to steer people away from them when you're building pools, you know, unless you just have money to burn like if your last name is mcduck have at her you know build it edges everywhere 360 degrees if you found this information helpful please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel and you can check out my website swimmingpoolsteve.com